Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Last episode, we had a lot of Asgardian stuff going on, and uh, Christopher let me know that this was the first tie-in after Thor The Dark World. Um, so that was cool. They had like clips of the movie and stuff in it, which was fun. And uh, uh, a staff that pulled hatred and anger out of you. And Ward touched it and he's going to be dealing with that for decades apparently. But uh, he is getting help from Melinda. I don't know what kind of help, but he went into her room. So we'll see what's going on there. And uh, we we got a, a little bit more of his backstory with the flashes to the well and what's been what happened with his brothers. So his his character is getting uh, informed more, and, and then you've got Coulson, who's really trying to figure out what really happened to him. We saw his Tahiti dream slash nightmare that he woke up from. We're gonna see him keep trying to figure out what's going on there and I have no idea but uh Simmons also was dealing with the aftermath of her near-death experience and how she was coping and not speaking to her family but I think she's doing well I think everyone's okay for the most part uh this next episode is called repairs. I don't know, is something gonna get broken? Um, who's to say, but let's get into it. Is there a problem? Jack Benson was a friend of mine. I'm so sorry. You were the one in charge, right? Some kind of manager? I asked you a question. Stay away from me. Oh. Oh, oh my. They did hook up. What? I was not expecting that. Well, we should follow the same plan as before. Except it routes back, stagger our timing, so no one suspects. Oh, so this is ongoing. We'll determine the cause and see if there's any correlation between telekinesis spontaneously forming and a particle accelerator exploding. Well, it does use giant magnets to fire billions of subatomic particles into their antiparticles at the speed of light to create miniature big bangs. So wow, impressive. I mean, uh, I try not <laughs> to mention big bangs when we talk to Hudgens about the explosion. You'll stay in the car, officers. Get those people back. Wow, she's really out of control. What do you do? That's not going to help. I'm not going to let anyone hurt you. Whoa. Time to go. I hope that was a train. <laughs> this kind of went to the academy. Oh, guys. She needs to know we're not hiding things from her. Which means you explaining the situation. What if that doesn't calm her down? And he definitely wants me in there. Pretty much. Yeah. Either way it goes. I'll observe from out here. Frank Delacourt, he died in the accident. Because of me, they're gone. You gotta move. I killed them. Did the particle accelerator give her the powers? She's the cavalry. Hmm. Where does that name come from anyway? You don't know. Play. It's quite a story. Oh, yeah, geez. Yeah, Ward is an exactly a chatty S.O. Her vehicle got totaled, so she rode in. And um, she had an M249 in each hand. Right. In each hand. And she rode in on a horse. Hence the name. <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> she eliminated the enemy threat. Single-handedly. No! <laughs> you do not touch that! Oh. Two semesters minimum of holographic engineering oh, before right. you get to touch right. this! Uh, <laughs> She bought that. Of course. Brilliant. We believe that somehow, as a result of the accident, you acquired some form of telekinetic ability. Okay. God's punishing me. Oh, honey, it's not that. He abandoned me. Demons, sir. 
Demons? If that tragedy gave her powers, we need to shut them down. If it wasn't her fault, even better. But until then, she's a danger to all of us. What the hell was that? Until we figure out what's going on with her. She stays locked up, and you stay away. Well, she's a specialist. In one thing, you can catch a lot more flies with honey than with napalm. <laughs> Same. I think she needs to get laid. Uh, well, I think, I think Grant's got that covered. It's confrontational with AJ. I'm not scared of her. Well, I am, but just because the cavalry shot a hundred guys on horseback doesn't mean she knows how things <laughs> work. Horseback? It's 20. Trained assassins. They crossed him off with one pistol. Damn. No support. She rescued a bunch of agents. What did I do with that knife? Oh, no. So it's not coming from her. Were you even listening? <laughs> weren't even a wee bit scared. More disappointed, really. <laughs> I'm trying different things. It's the timing that matters, Simmons. Sky now is not the time thing. for this. There's a little bit of twine and an unsuspecting victim. Um, that would That's be fantastic. you. It's as if the explosion tore open some sort of window. To hell. <gasps> hell? Are you a demon? Plane's lost power. Going down. Oh my. We're in a little hot. I got it. Ooh. Pretty good. Then. Could it be me to talk to Hannah? The wife has been turned upside down and we stuck her in a nightmare box. He's blaming She's her? Been punished. May I please be the one to deliver the good news? What's this? Hello? Uh oh. Can anybody hear me? Did we crash? Who is screaming? <laughs> this is not funny, Gemma. It's what it you get for fun. trying to pray this is a guy. My God, where have you been? I have been locked in a closet, freaking out thanks to you two geniuses. That wasn't us. Awesome. Something bad is out here. The particle accelerator pulled him apart and it's kind of like, uh, Ghost and Ant Man and the Wasp. We believe in God. Honestly, not really. Well, I do. The only words that stuck with me were something Sister McKenna said from the Bible, I think. She said, God is love. Try not to hurt her any more than you already have, Agent May. Claire. <sighs> Person can shoot a hundred berets. So how it went down? Whatever, twenty. I just I don't know. She didn't that. have a gun. She didn't have a gun. Did. And it wasn't a rescue or an assault, whatever they say at the academy these days. We were the welcome wagon, and it went south. Did she lose anyone in there? Herself. Whoa! What Maybe did she do? Person is still in there somewhere. Oh. <laughs> you thought she's sneaker than you are. What are you going to do? Fix the problem. Fix the problem? We gotta find a way out of here. I don't mean to scare you, I just need to use you as bait. <laughs> That's all. To draw him out. Away from my people. Aw, her people. I what you do. Whatever I have to. You sure this is how to do it? Any idea which direction they could have taken her? We'll deploy the golden retrievers. They're in here. Oh. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> the nonsense like this. Franklin was your idea. And obviously, <laughs> I raped this little beauty. 
before I knew there was a dimension jumping psychopath mm -hmm. in the mix. Wait, childish. You scared the guy who was harassing her at the gas station. We tried to hit you with a cop car. And we took her into custody. Yeah, he's not trying to hurt her. Oh. He's trying to protect her. He likes her. Oh. Well, he doesn't have to be so creepy about it. I guess he can't control what's happening to him, but use your words, man. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa. Just loosen a few bolts and then you visit. Oh no. That is not the way to do that. Clinging to the person you thought you could be. That's hell. Damn, Melinda. You're dragging her down with me. Let the girl go. Can Fitz repair it? No. Nah, this was a lost cause. But May isn't. Can no, she's bring not. Her around and see him. You know what makes people tick. I wanted you paying close attention to the index asset evaluation and intake process because someday you'll be really good at it. Give it your best. I can see that. Thanks. <laughs> it's not funny. I was sleeping peacefully. <laughs> That's what you get. Very clever, Simmons. I didn't, I didn't do it. Well, who then? Look, the bunks should be off limits. May? <laughs> no, it was one of me. All right. Well, this was an interesting episode. Very heavy focus on May here. I, I didn't love that she and and Sky were at odds. It seemed, especially coming off the episode where she hooked up with Ward. That kind of came out of nowhere for me, but it it was good to put their different personalities on display. And now we know why, or we know a little bit more why May is the way she is. What actually happened to get her that, that nickname? Sort of, we kind of know. Uh, whatever happened when she went to save those people... It changed her fundamentally. And uh, I'm hoping her being in this group can maybe remind her of who she used to be. Um, but that's also interesting having her personality change that way in the same way that they've said Coulson's personality has changed. I don't know if it's for the same reason. I don't think so. But uh, that is something that they can relate to each other about. Um, and, you know, when I thought, like, oh, if anybody was going to hook up or get together, it would be Sky and Ward or May and Coulson. So having May and Ward get together is weird. But, uh, you know, if, if uh, they're both into it, good for them. So when... Melinda was saying that she said what Coulson said to her, let that girl go. Is she meaning herself? Um, that, that part of her that, that let her be able to do what she had to do to save those people. I hope we get a flashback to that time. It would be fun to see exactly what happened. Uh, but I, I did love, Fitz and Simmons kind of uh, telling tall tales about it as a prank. Uh, they're fun. I, I like to hear like their time at college or whatever. They've really known each other for a long time, but uh, how they missed out on some stuff is some freshman hazing and they consider Sky a freshman here. So they were doing some pretty harmless things. But uh, I'm glad that May got <laughs> got Fitz. Uh, I like to see that maybe that is her warming up a little bit. And I loved when she called the group her people. So maybe she can kind of get back to who she was eventually. Or maybe not completely, but 
not have to be so closed off like she's been. And maybe being with Ward will help with that, even though it definitely seems like they're just hooking up. There's, there's no feelings involved, at least not yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, the, the guy materializing, dematerializing, it reminded me of Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it's just a really unfortunate situation with him just trying to get her back to visit by loosening a few screws. But that is awful because it killed people. And uh, there was a lot of talk of God here and judgment and punishment. And wherever he went, I hope he can find some kind of... forgiveness I I don't know May said that only God can forgive him or wouldn't um I I guess you you gotta forgive yourself I know there was no intent there but it was uh negligent I mean I hope he didn't go to a hell dimension that's awful But uh, I, it was nice that even after he did what he did, he was still trying to protect Hannah. Uh, he was going about it all the wrong ways. He just was making matters worse for her. I hope she can find some kind of normalcy again. But if I was her, I would move. I'd, 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 those families are never going to get over it. But maybe she can try to convince them that she wasn't responsible for what happened. But... I don't know. Um, I really liked Sky and Coulson's conversation. He sees the best in her, and it was it was laid out here uh, how much she was caring about Hannah and trying to get her to feel comfortable and, and not scared of them because they were just trying to help. And that is kind of what this group does. They go and, especially when they're, they're dealing with new people with new powers, potentially that welcome wagon. And uh, if, if she keeps that about herself, she will be a really good leader. And I could see that for her in the future. But uh, I think she really brings a lot to the group. And I really just love her relationship with Coulson. So I loved getting more with May here. She was definitely the most enigmatic of all the teammates. And uh, we learned a little, but I'm still kind of... You know, we still don't know what really went down there, what changed her so much. But it, whatever it was, it was tough. And, uh, yeah, I, I like how the episode dealt with, like, some really heavy stuff. And then, you know, you have the lightheartedness in the, the Fitzsimmons pranking part of it. Um, that they do bring a lightness to the show. So they, they're those two being in the group is valuable as well. I, I just really love every member and, and how different everyone is, but it all, it, it just works. They gel really well already. So yeah, I really like this episode. It was, uh, it was good to get a focus on May and, uh, I, I just, I want to know more and I want to see if she's going to start warming up any, um, it, it seems so with that last scene, her doing some pranks back at fits. That's nice to see. And, uh, yeah, I, I enjoy this episode a lot. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.